This project, a collaboration between uh, an academic institution, the University of Rome Tor Bergata, and the Italian cooperation we funded it, has established with the specific aim to help Kurdistan to develop strong cultural relations with the European Union and the other Western countries. We are all aware of how Kurdistan plays at this time a crucial role in the entire region and we appreciate the fact that it has become a place of tolerance, multiculturalism and hospitality really unprecedented in the Middle East area. Funded by the Cooperation and Development Agency of the Ministry for Foreign Affairs of Italy, the University of Rome Tor Vergata, in close cooperation with the Ministry of Health of the Kurdistan Regional Government, is running an innovative and outstanding project to improve human health, to safeguard human dignity, and to ensure people's social and economic growth. to start my speech with expression of our great thanks and appreciation for Italian government and people for their continuous support to our region in different sectors. Particularly in health sector, there are much to be mentioned. Dear colleagues, this bilateral project for developing a convenient health information system in Kurdistan will be a crucial and strong moving forward step to improve health care services and fasten reform program in health care system. A special thanks to the Italian Cooperation Fund and support and to the Italian Ministry of, of Foreign Affairs. I remember last summer I was at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Italy and I met the Minister Gaudiano. His Excellency asked me directly about this project and about the advantages if we have this project done. And I was really very honest in telling him the needs, but also telling him the facts we have many challenges. So I'm still there, we have many challenges to make this happen. That's why we need more commitment from your side and from our side. Again, thank you and appreciation for Tor Vergata University in Roma and also thank us for Erbil Consulate of Italy. Great thank us for uh, our teams in the planning department. Today I would like to uh, really uh, thank uh, the uh, uh, Kurdistan regional government, the minist Ministry of Health and uh, the minister himself. Um, uh, I'm really happy and glad uh, that you are here with us today. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Warm welcome to our guest. Dr. Sergio, Dr. Leonardo, Dr. Dario, and Dr. Fayek from Arvid. I'm glad to be here uh, to represent my country, the Consulate of Italy, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And uh, of course, thank you to the, the Italian Development Cooperation, uh, which is the Italian Agency for Development and Cooperation of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, we're funding different kinds of projects and programs here in the region and the, actually in the entire country. We also involved into uh, uh, in my Italian section due to the crisis here uh, uh, in the region. <laughs> Because of the several humanitarian crises, the Italian Corporation has acquired an increasing role in Italian foreign policy choices in coherence with interventions aimed to maintain peace, to protect refugees and internally displaced people, and to manage migration flows. This project is a meaningful step forward in the close cooperation between Italy and Kurdistan. Persone arrivano in clinica, 
spesso chiedono delle medicine e sono sempre loro a chiedere le medicine e secondo i medici questa gente sta male psicologicamente. Che tanti di loro stanno qui e hanno dei figli o mali o muori o sorelle e stanno nelle mani da Dio. The project has unique innovative characteristics for the region. It delivers training in epidemiology of excellence. During the first months of the project, about 700 doctors have been trained in epidemiological surveillance and disease coding. The goal of our health information system is to collect data day by day, patient by patient, so that we could become able to follow the health development throughout the time, but at the same time also to be able to compare the data at an international level. I can manage the single event data, I can enter using my mobile phone and I can manage view using my mobile phone and I could also manage the statistics and the data report from the mobile phone. The mission of the University of Rome Tor Vergata is to contribute to people's education and training, to develop scientific research and to promote the technological and social innovation to achieve a truly sustainable development in Italy, Europe and worldwide. Together with the management of training courses, the project partners have started visiting health centers throughout the Kurdistan region to implement an information system able to collect population-based health data in accordance with an internationally recognized language, the ICD-10. Thanks to the project, this health information system has already been installed and by now it is working in several health centers, hospitals and maternities throughout the entire region helping to improve the quality of the services offered to the citizens. The system is based upon the adoption of an open platform called District Health Information System, already used by more than 40 countries around the world in the framework of the World Health Organization. The system allows collecting data on diagnoses, vaccination, deliveries, as well as health facility data, staffing, equipment, and many health-related data which can be supplied to the health authorities for all possible public health and administrative purposes. The support of the Italian Development Cooperation, in alliance with Italian universities, follows an approach inspired by the respect for human rights, gender equality, rule of law and administrative transparency. It aims at coordinating health support actions with education and training of human resources while safeguarding the cultural aspects of the local communities. By the end of 2016, about 5% of all public health facilities of Kurdistan region began operating the system. The health personnel recorded until now a huge mass of data about diagnoses, vaccinations, hospital discharges, births, deaths. From now on, more sites will be included and collected data will grow, making it possible to imagine an efficient epidemiological surveillance system.
Despite all the problems, Kurdistan and its population understand the importance of creating strong international ties and see in the project an opportunity to do so. I am glad I could participate in this initiative and I am convinced that it represents only the first step of a much wider cooperation between Italy and Kurdistan. The District Health Information System has been translated into a number of languages. Now, thanks to this project, the Kurdish language has been included among the official and internationally recognized languages of the DHIS system. Notwithstanding the challenges the region is facing, the program is successfully going ahead, thanks to the great effort of Italy and thanks to the extraordinary involvement of the Health Ministry, the General Directorates of Health, doctors and all health personnel of the Kurdistan region. <laughs>